I'm I'm chilling. Right, we are chilling. Chill. Right, this right. is normally the easiest tell, thing I've done normally, all day. Normally I tell people it's like it's super it's super chill. As long yeah. as I'm like, oh, it's, it's I'm having good. fun in good, fact. Good, I good, love doing good. this. All right, Matt. So um, you know, talking about giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, a big part of your shop, your business, what you stand for is like a part of your proceeds mm -hmm. go to organizations that that help your community, right? You want to talk about some of these organizations and causes that you you're supporting? Yeah, absolutely. So first off, my my father committed suicide, so like that in and of itself is the basis of why my company is a direct sponsor of of Alameda County's crisis hotline. You know, it's a it's a it's a free crisis uh, text and, and, and phone hotline that anybody can utilize. The Crisis Support Services of Alameda County supports the East Bay. This is where I was born and raised. I want to help my home. With the pandemic and everything, has there been an increase in, in people seeking help? I think so. Uh -huh. With the pandemic, everyone's trapped inside. More people are, are stressed out. Yeah. You know, my day job, I work at a company called uh, Ginger and we provide on demand. It's an on demand therapy app where you can book an appointment with a therapist. And um, between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Uh, is when we've seen the most increase in, in, uh, in users on the platform. 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that tells you one thing people are not sleeping. People aren't sleeping because they're stressed out. Yeah. Being cooped up in the house. I mean, kids are just starting to get back to school, right, but right. parents have had to adjust their entire lives uh, to home education. You know, imagine, you know, grandma's cooking in the kitchen while mom is trying to run a marketing meeting, you know, in the living room. And little Billy is over there in the in the in his bedroom trying to do a Zoom class. Right, right. That's a that's a lot. It's right. a lot for a lot of people. Yeah. So it's, 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 no, it's no wonder why people are seeking out more mental health care um, alternatives now. Do you think there's an increase, you know, acceptance or reception or viewpoint towards mental health? I feel like nowadays, you know, I think a lot of what you've said, people easily relate to. I think so, because, you know, especially during the pandemic, the stigma around it has changed because it's not just like it's a stigma for a certain type of population like you know, like in in the black community there's a certain stigma around seeing a therapist like you know uh, a, a lot of, a lot of you know people might say like man up you know just just I, handle your business i think in the i think in the asian community it's very similar absolutely it's, it's absolutely. like it's like you you have a problem or you know like like insanity, sanity wise. I think yeah. like when people. Yeah. Why do you need a therapist? Yeah, like yeah. are you? Yeah, it's it's very difficult, and it's like you said, man up or. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, in Asian community, especially, uh, you know, so um, the breaking the stigma around it has definitely become a little bit easier during the pandemic because. Everybody is suffering. Yeah. Everybody's going through the same thing. Right. And now we can all relate to each other. I, I, I totally agree with that. I think that it is, I think it is a negative on our society in general mm -hmm. that you have to come to this point where like the only way we can understand depression, the only way we can understand anxiety or stress or like suicide is when we're all miserable like, you know you know what i'm saying like that's yeah i feel like that's i agree with what you're saying is that like now we're, we all understand it it just is unfortunate that we all have to be in this state for us to yeah like it, you know? why do, why does it have to come to that breaking point right. yeah where yeah. you know like it's like the straw that broke the camel's back and the whole world is just like that's it. Right? Yeah. And then now, now it's like we, we understand because we get it or we understand because we're going through it. It's like we should have understood before. We should have. That, we should have. Right. So preventative care, you know, that, that's, that, and, and, I, and I hope that's a topic of conversation. 
for years to come. Yeah. So, so social media, right? Social media, you have a business now. Mm -hmm. You're on social media. You kind of just. You kind of just have to be. It's how the business grew. It's how it, you know, our Instagram is basically the catalog of what we, right, what we sell. Right. Planter Day beats to its own drum. And there's room for everybody. I'm not the first plant company out there. Right. I'm not the first. And I'm darn sure not going to be the last. But how can, how can, how can, how can I make a stamp on this community and make an impact? Yeah. You know, so, so social media has been great and it depends on like, it depends on, you know, what we choose to follow as well. Like, you know, on, on the planner day account, we, we follow things that inspire us, travel pages, other, all, all of our business associates that we've met through pop-ups and we, we love seeing their success. You know, we, we love, we love little cat videos and those <laughs> make us happy. So we follow those things. So I love animal like animal videos and uh, fostering adoption like animal fostering adoption oh, yeah. videos on on YouTube. Oh my god, they just like make my day. Yeah, yeah. We went to the SPCA on Sunday to try to adopt a cat. Actually, so uh, we, we we might be doing a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> you basically did for plants, or you know, basically what food trucks, right? Basically the same thing. Uh, people who wanted to share their food but couldn't afford maybe like a space yeah, or the brick and mortar yeah uh you know really scrappy is kind of what i did and you not only did you buy a trailer you had to like refurbish or <laughs> you you diy your own trailer you know i so, did i did um so i really i really loved the the scrappiness the the hard work american dream right it's that kind of a thing uh Thank you. Uh, so I, I really appreciated that and that that resonated with me and like where where I came from uh, okay. and then I think the other thing is that you're 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 giving back to the community that you know you're just not you're just not a a standalone plant shop that's trying to trying to grow or trying to like overtake other plant shops or you know trying to retire early you know you're 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 creating good vibes you know out there thank you I, I, I appreciate you saying that because I want the plants to make an impact right. you know how can I use plants to, to, to do uh, I, I need I want plants to do to do for me to do in the world what they did for me right right plants help me get through a very very tough time in my life mm -hmm. And I and I just want to spread that yeah. love. Yeah. I want to spread that love, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my day job so I can pay the bills, so I can keep doing that. Um, but and, and and have fun. Life is too short. Right. I, I'm I'm 33, and I lost both of my parents already. And you know, there's no pity party here. Right. But the lesson there is that life is too short. Yeah. You know, and I want to have fun every day, and I do that with plants. I'm just like imagining how much joy people must have when they're going to an event and poof, you know, there's this like plant truck on the side of the street or something that, yeah. that's like, I like it. It's like random, it's whimsical, it's joyful. That's, that's awesome. I mean, you must, you must have so much fun. It, it, it it's kind of how I view, uh, you know, everything you know, like, I don't want to go to a store. I don't. I want to go to an experience. That's right. why. That's why. Like, we play music. We have bubbles. We, <laughs> we we interact with people. We have dog. We don't even own a dog, but we have dog, dog treats. treats. We feed people's that's dogs. Awesome. Like, oh, I want people to come to an experience. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's the same way I view. Like in my day job, in meetings, I'm like, don't invite me to a meeting. Invite me to an experience, you and, know? And you're providing a, a very inclusive experience, right? Like plants, all ages. All ages. All ages, races, ethnicities, socioeconomic status, right? Like, yeah, these are, they're plants. <laughs> you know? They're plants, they're plants. Everybody can connect on that. It, 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 it blurs all, all racial or gender or any, right. any lines out there. And that's the beauty of it. I think the other the other thing I want to take note of is that, you know, I like you. This was an idea of yours. You 
put a lot of work and effort into it. You kind of just like started and kept rolling with it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of people just don't realize that like you can bring a lot of joy, positivity, make a difference, and it doesn't have to be grand. And it just, you know, it can just be a trailer that goes to pop up. You know, <laughs> like it, it can just be a very simple concept. Uh, and you can make a big, a big difference. Yeah, yeah, making an impact, making a difference. There's always got to be an element of giving back and doing good, right. because, right. you know, you know. Otherwise, what are you really doing on earth? Right, right. You know?